Hey everybody, it's me Rodney. Hey guys, it's me Missy with Rusty Relics, and it's Tuesday and we're going live and we are going to do some fun stuff tonight. Or, it's new to me stuff. Yeah. I don't know well, if it's new to Well, you said it's fun. So. Yeah, I say it's fun. So, it's new to me though. So, I don't know if it's new to everybody else, but. Donna said hello from Missouri. Hi. Susie said hello from Florida. Hi. Karen said hey Missy and Rodney. Hello. Tina said, like the video, please. Yeah, thumbs up, guys. Thumbs she said, up. hello, everyone. Karen said, uh, hello to everybody as well. All right, guys. All right, so what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Okay, so I'm still on this napkin kit, and I'm still working with some of the pieces like that I had left over from the bookshelf that I have not quite finished, but almost finished them. Um, so I just didn't want to um, toss those pieces, but then I also, um, you know, have a lot of the white pieces that I pull off of a napkin. So that's kind of what we're going to play with tonight. Um, and like I said, this is new to me. Um, it might not be new to everybody else. But, and the other thing that we're kind of doing is, um, you know, I'm big on having a smooth surface with my decoupage papers and stuff like that. Well, this route we're going to embrace the wrinkles and we're going to love them and then we're going to let them, you know, have character to the stuff that we're going to put them on and stuff like that. So it's kind of like um, because napkins and tissue paper are so thin, um, unless you're ironing on, it's really hard to have like a completely smooth surface. So like on the bookshelf, I wanted it to be completely smooth because it's a bookshelf. So for furniture pieces, I'm like really adamant that I keep it as smooth as possible. But for small stuff like block sitters or stuff like that, I think wrinkles are kind of fun and you can definitely add character to stuff with it. So if you like the wrinkled look and you like that um, style, then this, you know, method would definitely be for you. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. So um, what I'll do is I'll show you, which I don't know if you'll be able to see it really good on this. So I'll show you the pieces that I already have done up because you do need to let these things dry overnight. Um, so I'll show you what I already Hold have on. done. Something's wrong. Okay, you're good. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll show you the pieces that I already have done up, and then I'll show you how I got them to look like this. Okay, so um, this one is already done and you can see I've kind of played with it already and used some of that. This is another one that's already done. Um, so it looks like a basic napkin, but what I did do is, which we're gonna do it a little bit different tonight too, is um, I stained it with some tea glue, like I mixed tea into my Mod Podge and um, so that way it kind of had an antique look. I didn't have any leftover coffee, but I saved some from um, my pot this morning, and I'm going to use it on the mixture tonight, so it'll give it a little bit of a darker look. And then the clear, this the white backer that you take off, I don't know if you can see it really good, or is it the white background? You can see it. Yeah, so um, I did the same thing to it. So you can see it has all the wrinkles, and it's actually pretty, oh, I just tore it, but it's really <laughs> sturdy as far as, um, what it was before, but it has all the wrinkles and then you can fold it steel It almost looks like um, Like onion skin or something like that like when you cook an onion or whatever. Hey Sharon. Hey uh, Kathy, how y'all doing today? But it has all of the wrinkles and I think when I mix my glue mixture tonight the wrinkles in it is gonna be a lot darker um, and it's going to have more of that aged look. So if primitive years are style, this is definitely, I think, going to work for that. I'm trying and to make sure I get the bad gum uh, zoom in right. another one that I have. So it's like really wrinkled up or whatever. So that's this is what we're working with tonight. We're going to work with this after um, I show you how to do all this. I think it's fun. Um, I think it's different, and I think that uh, if you're a paper crafter, you could add a lot of this stuff to like um, there we go, like the junk journals and stuff like that. I think it would be cool to add that into the mix. That's not kind of 
that's not really my thing, but um, I definitely could see where um, it could be beneficial. It could be beneficial. Yeah, I definitely see where you could add this to that stuff. Um, so if you're not wanting it to be completely smooth, like once you iron it on, you know it's completely smooth. But you can see how it's darker, how it darkened up. This is regular napkin. This is the um, fake rice paper napkin. So I can see the difference. Can you see the difference? Donna, there? yeah, you can see. Yeah. Well, not really on camera. You can't really tell you the difference. You can't really tell. This one is a little bit darker, and it could be because I have this white background, but... You see a slight difference, but yeah. not much. It, Donna says she's been practicing with napkins too lately. Yes, yes. Barb um, said, yippee skippy, I'm on time, just a few minutes late. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited because I have um, new napkins um, to show y'all um, hopefully soon. Um, they're really cute, and if I did it right, um, I should be able to share those with y'all too if y'all were interested in that. So... The first thing that you're going to want to do is get a piece of like plastic. You could use saran wrap or you could use, um, like I'm just using a garbage bag. Mm, that really picked me up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're such a goofy. Coffee candy. So if, if you guys have been paying attention, Missy watches Korean uh, K-dramas. And so they always eat this candy. So I ordered her a thing of it from Amazon and it's coffee flavored. It's really good. <laughs> uh, Karen, that's something I'm trying to work out right now. Uh, what are you working out? The, she got an ad, and it shouldn't have occurred this early in the video. Oh. So it's it's new to me, so it's going to take pro probably a... Uh, uh, now, before the video, obviously, I don't have a choice with that, but during the video... It's gonna take me some time to figure to work that out and get that short uh, yeah figured out. I don't have it figured out yet. It's new. It's it's brand new, Taz. We it's brand new. Yeah. Yeah, it's brand like new. Like today. Like today, brand new. So, us, so we don't know. So if you just I don't know, know how be, to do it. I ask. Just be bear with us. Bear with us. <laughs> we'll get it figured out. Okay. So like I was saying, all right. The first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a plastic background. You can use saran wrap and you can like tape your saran wrap to your counter or something. I'm just using a garbage bag, but I will tell you this, that these are the, um, what do they call them? The flex bags, the flex force bags. Yes, flex force. So it has, you know, texture to it. So just um, know that when you're, um, when we do this, this texture might show up to your napkin. It didn't really bother me. I don't really see it that much, but just know that. Um, and if you use like, uh, grocery sacks like we have Piggly Wiggly bags like crazy um, one thing is that you're going to want to do it on um, the plain white surface or whatever something that doesn't have the dye or anything in it that could seep up into your bag so you just want to make sure that it's um, just plain right. um, like like this As a, I do have an example so like don't do this side do this side yeah, so I did it on those and I've done it on this garbage bag and both of them worked fine. I couldn't tell you which paper came off which. So, um, but I'm just gonna use this surface and we're gonna do um, these scraps that I have left over from the bookshelf. We're gonna prep these up and then we'll work with these on something else and I'll just show you kind of how it looks once you like mod podge it onto your surface and that kind of stuff. So you can just kind of get a feel for if this is something that you like or not. Cause like I said, this is a wrinkle um, decoupage situation. Like this is a, if you want wrinkles, if you or want to embrace them and um, th that kind of way, then this is the method for you to do it this way. And it just makes your napkin stronger versus if you just mod podge your napkins onto the um, surface, it's, this look, it's just different. I don't know how to really explain it. Right. Because like when you mosh podge it onto a surface, it kind of can smooth out. This is not going to smooth out at all. This is just really going to be that wrinkle textured look. So um, <laughs> Molly said, could I send you a self addressed stamped envelope and get a Piggly Wiggly bag? They're yeah. cute and we have none of them out west. You don't have no Piggly Wiggly? Oh. Oh. You don't have to do that. Just uh, <laughs> message us on message Facebook. Us. 
Yeah. On Facebook yes. Messenger, Rusty Relics. We have Piggly Wiggly bags. And I'll just send it to like you. Like crazy. Because yeah. that's our uh, that's, that's our grocery store. Preferred grocery store to shop at. If we can go there, that's where we're going to go. Okay, um, watch me do some measuring. Because I don't have the exact measurements. Watch you do some measuring. Yeah, so okay. you, you know how, you know what I'm asking for? Like, um, if I say this much glue. Yeah, right there. Okay. So how much glue would you say that was? That's about a third of a cup. Okay. And then this is old coffee. Okay. Oh, I'm going to make a mess. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make a mess. There you go. Okay. Can you hand me a towel? Well, it's about four ounces. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to take the glue and the coffee because you do want Molly it to... Molly said one glug. That's right. She said plastic grocery bags are illegal there. Yikes. Uh, they are in some states. That's so crazy. I, 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 well, I guess. But now um, there's watched... a, lot of, a lot of these plastics now are recyclable, aren't they? Or uh, not recyclable. I mean, they break down. They're vegetable-based plastics. I don't know. Ours in Alabama are probably not. Yeah. But Karen said it's that way in Washington too. Yeah, I saw the, I watched this reel one time and it was a girl and she was like, Can I have a bag? And they charged her for a bag. Like they charged her for the sack. Like it and then like I was reading the comments under it because I was like, Why would you charge the customer for a bag? Um and it it's apparently it's it's a big thing all over the states, like you don't get a bag with your purchase. Like a plastic bag? Like a plastic bag. Like we wouldn't like we wouldn't give the customer. Right, there he goes, guys. I'm gonna start charging on th three cents a bag. <laughs> three cents a bag. So like we have those our famous rusty relic bags is the teal bags or whatever. Um, we wouldn't they wouldn't take a take it out in a bag. They would just That's Could crazy. you imagine that? I'd you, rather you know what I'd I I'd give I don't know. I'd rather give away a cloth bag. All than that, them. yeah. All that, yeah. Um, all that um, glass that we wrap up. Yeah, no, and, that'd and be no could, way. I, you would have to have boxes. Oh, we would need boxes like crazy. Okay, so I just mixed in the coffee with the Mod Podge. Karen, you can see Karen said they're eight cents. Eight, yeah, that's what it was like in that video. They, I couldn't remember it in exactly Washington. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I mixed up the coffee and the Mod Podge, so you know it thins out your Mod Podge, but that's what you want because you want it to be liquid, um, but not too liquid. So you can see it. I don't know if you can see it really good on camera, but they can see it on the front camera. Hold on. Yeah. Bam. Let's go up there. Yeah. See. It's just. It's really it's liquidy. Thin. If you get it too liquidy, you can add more um, glue. Yeah, we bring our own bag a lot of times, especially if we go somewhere like Aldi. We have a lot of those big bags that we take. Yeah. yeah so. And plus, we have our own. Uh, we have our right. own grocery bags at the store. The Rusty Relics Teal, except mm -hmm. for it's a cloth bag. Right. We do have those. Okay, so I'm gonna do two pieces. So to just show you, so that way I don't take up too much room. Okay, so this is the floral print that I had left over, and then this is just a backer off of it. And so, like, my main thing with it, behind all of this was to figure out what to do with these. Like, obviously, in my house, we kind of been using them, but, you know, they're really thin, so that it's not like you have to grab, like, 20 of them <laughs> to um, do anything with. But, so we're just going to work with it, We're and I'll, we'll... Um, I think I have an idea of what to do with it. Okay, so um, if you don't want this crease, um, you probably wanna try to get that out, um, but I kinda think that the mixture takes it out. But what we're gonna do is, I'm kinda just gonna take my Mod Podge and try to like make a corner where it will stick. If you had like a pen or a marker, you could mark it. And we're just going to paint a layer of Mod Podge onto the back of the garbage bag. Garbage bag. Kind of not, I mean, it's not crazy thick, but it's not thin either because it's just going to seep in through your napkin and go to the other side. It turns out Molly and Karen are pretty much neighbors. They live. Uh, yeah, both of them live in Washington. Oh, really? Yep. 
Tina said all these you can't get bags anymore. I oh. thought you could buy them. When we used to shop there, you could buy paper bags. Oh, you could buy the paper bags. But they were like, yeah, but I they, think they never, were 25 cents a piece, yeah, which is pretty cheap for a paper bag. They never had the plastic bag, yeah. It's been a this hot candy minute. is good. It is good. It's very coffee. It's very coffee. Now, I don't like coffee, but I like this candy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of pick this up. Where it I says if you eat four of these, it's like having a cup of, of espresso. So we're going to test that, that theory. It, oh, please don't. <laughs> please don't test it that late. All right, so after I get my spot. Oh, yeah, um, they're only two hours away from each other. That's cool. Yeah, it is. After I get my spot covered up, we're just going to lay the napkin down and kind of pat it in. I watched her do this last night. I thought it was kind of crazy. But I will tell you that it will tear, you know, because it's a napkin once you get it wet. So just be cautious of that. And then I just take some of the Mod Podge on my brush and I just kind of pat it down. So this is where you can see your wrinkles and how they're going to look when it's dry, you know. Um, and this is also going to stain your napkin so it has that uh, look. And it's going to smell like coffee if you use coffee. Um, so there's tea. You could probably mix up a little bit of uh, colored paint if you wanted to. Um, you could get messy with it and use food coloring, I guess. So you could do whatever color you wanted. But for the look that I was going for, I was just doing this. But <laughs> if Rodney starts bouncing off the walls, we'll know it was you'll the know candy. it's the candy. Donna said. Yeah, I'm serious. I ate one. I'm not. I mean, about what's to the eat. point in trying it, right? I mean, I'm not about to eat four. And they say it when they hold it up there. They'll say that corny line, like I said a while ago. Oh my gosh, they do. And they do it every time. It's like placed advertisements inside the TV show. It is. That's exactly what it is. It'll be like doing this and saying, oh, a nice Mountain Dew really hits the spot right now. It does. <laughs> <laughs> but they do that all the time. They do it in the show. It's hilarious to me. Molly said, I can't sacrifice some good coffee for crafting. This is <laughs> this leftover This is leftover. Coffee. This is leftover Bottom coffee. Bottom of the pot. Yeah. Missy won't drink it. This was like not even a full cup, and I purposely made sure that I left some in the pot just so I could save this. Um, if you have... If we you, tried sweet tea. It worked okay. Sweet tea works. Um, tea, if you had a... If, if, we, if I would have done the tea bag method, I probably would have been a lot stronger or whatever, so... A lot darker brown? Yeah. So just, I'm just wanting it to have, when this dries, is which it will dry, tom it'll be dry tomorrow. Um, I just want it to have that, like, aged old look. And then this is a plain paper, so this way you're not, you're getting use of your full napkin when you go to Mod Podge, you know what I'm saying? Karen asked, could you use a dark paint? I think you could, you could, um, you might have to add a little bit of water um to balance out the the because the, you want it to be kind of liquid that makes yeah sense. So you so you might have to do a little bit of brown paint and then a little bit of water until you just get um a, a thin enough mixture that you can do this on she got up on her own mm -hmm. okay so then you just let that dry but you see the wrinkles right aren't you supposed to push up the edges to make it easier oh to get yeah off? you're right i'm glad you thought about that so a tip is to take your paintbrush after you get it all done and kind of just push up your edges of the paper. You don't got to do nothing crazy. Just just lift it up just a little bit. Let me bring your bit. paper this way I'm a little bit so I can side. see it. Okay. Yeah. Like, so. like, there we go. So... That's like how Martha Stewart says something about using leftover wine and the internet said, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Um, I'm just taking my paintbrush and I'm just lifting it off just so that way it's easier to be able to get a grip on it and tear it off or slowly peel it off. The ones you made earlier, they were... Uh, uh, Pretty plasticky, the ones you made last yeah, night. Yeah, so um, when you take this off of the plastic, the back side of it is going to have like a <laughs> a shiny side. 
And then the other side is going to be matte if you use matte Mod Podge. And you can also use Elmer's glue. You could also use, um, you, you could use Elmer's glue for this, just regular old school glue. And if you don't want to use your well, it's Mod cheaper. Podge. It's cheaper by the it gallon. Would, yeah, it would be cheaper um, if you don't want to use your Mod Podge for this because all we're doing is just um, any kind of PVA glue like will that. work. Yeah, any kind. You don't have to use your Mod Podge for this if you're wanting to May save May it. Maymay did a live from Creative yes. and called out Cammy. Yes, she, I saw them dogs. The, How cute were those dog things? They were, there was a wean on there, and then she there, said was there was a, a corgi. Cute, there was a corgi. Yeah. That's so cool. I, I caught that. My phone said, Maymay's live. And I was like, I had to finish up with what I was doing with the customer. But then as soon as I got done, I went over there and watched it. And I saw that little corgi. Those dog things were super cute. I don't know what they were. I can't remember. Molly, those napkins, they we get we got those from a vendor, I believe, right? The floral ones from last week. They were in a booth in the, the store. The blue ones? No, the flower ones. These? Yes. No. The ones we used on the bookcase. These. Oh, that. Those. These are the leftover ones. Yeah. Yeah. The blue ones that I have, um, I got those from I don't a vendor. Know where we got them. I, I got those from a vendor. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to do this one too, and then we'll take this to the side and we'll just let it dry. So. Um, hey, Lydia, how are you doing today? Lydia joined us from Montana. Hi. I'm just gonna. Make sure I have... 3D cards. Is that what it was? Is that, cards? is that what it was? That's what Karen said. <gasps> yeah, because they had so that adorable. picket fence thing uh, Those and the rain boot card. I saw that. Oh, it was so cute. And you guys, I don't even make cards. <laughs> I'll do nothing like that. I would, I would end up being a paper hoarder because it's all just so cute. And I wouldn't even know the first thing to do with any of it. I just watch her. We're doing pretty good, Lydia. Thank you for asking. Yeah. It was Maybe cute. I could order a pack from the vendor along with a Piggly Wiggly bag. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ship it to you in a Piggly Wiggly bag. <laughs> Without an envelope. Um, if it's these, you I do have some left over of these. Molly um, said you should be making tags. That's actually what you plan on doing with these, right? I, that's what I was thinking about with this, this rice paper. I thought it would be really cute to just make a little tag because I do have a bottle. And I didn't really want to do anything to the bottle because it's um, a Tussin bottle. It's an old Tussin bottle. Oh, yeah, it's a really old. It's really old, so I didn't want to do anything with it, but I thought it would be cute in this little thing that I have, and I thought a tag on it would be really cute. So that's what we're going to work with. Barb said you could frame those dog pictures. You could. you Yeah, you could. So same thing here. Just going to lay it down. It's official, guys. There's a lot of caffeine in these uh, Copico's. You feel it? Yeah, I feel it. I'm bouncing on the inside. Oh my goodness. Like, All right. Zoinks. And same thing. I'm just going to kind of pat it. And you know, when this dries, it'll just be a little bit darker to give it more of a, like an aged look. Molly says she inherited a sack of 50s and 60s prescription bottles. They're so cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. They are. And the older, the thicker the bottle, too. Holy cow. Some of those from medicine bottles from the 20s are like, I'd say the glass is like a half inch thick almost. I know, right? You almost could think something. Imagine if something was in it, how much heavier it was. And I, I know you really can't tell, but I really am doing a light touch. I'm not pressing down hard or anything like that because um, I just don't want to risk tearing my paper. But if you were to tear it, I feel like if you could push it back together and then just put the glue on top of it, I think it would be okay. I think it would like glue itself, like bond back together. Yeah. She said yes, and the labels on some. She's got labels on some of hers. Oh, now that is really cool. She said that is really she cool. bets most of them are no longer illegal. I bet. Yeah. So, 
Like we a, had an old aspirin bottle from way back in the day that had, um, still had the aspirins in it. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Then the Novocaine bottle mm. that had the added yeah. ingredient. Yeah. But luckily, it was for us, luckily, it was an empty bottle. Yeah. But seeing some of those ads from back in the day, it's kind of crazy thinking about what was what they used to use. Mm-hmm. I think I got it. For, I mean, that all. one, the toothache, the toothache ad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, the yeah. cocaine candy. Yeah. I shouldn't have, I probably shouldn't have <laughs> oh, said that on Oh, probably life. shouldn't have. My bad. But yeah, that's crazy stuff from way back when. Maybe it showed some Katie Sue. Mm, you have to educate Mo me on Molly that Molly Smith said, if I were local to you, I'd have a booth and try to sell some of the 40s and 50s stuff. Oh, yeah. I inherited from the same relatives. I have no idea what to do with them otherwise. Um, I have collectors of that stuff for sure. Textiles. Like old cards and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, no, textiles, I, that would be like cloth, any kind of material, basically. I've seen, I watched, um, I've seen a couple of things my maid uh, showed me. She sent me a video of one thing. Um, yeah, she sent you a, a, a video specifically, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, and it was of really cool stuff. It, it was more um, geared towards like furniture and that kind of stuff. Oh, the Katie Sue was the dogs. Oh, okay, that was the dogs. Okay, okay. It was cute. Those things were cute. All right, so I just pushed up my edges so that way when all of this dries, I should be able to just peel it off. And I can go ahead and tell you that it's darker with the coffee. I can see that right off the bat. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And so, it'll darken up as it dries. Yeah, so the tea is dark, but the coffee is darker. Um, or at least the way I did it, the coffee is darker. All right, so... After you do all this, you just want to walk away from it and let it dry. Um, I did mine, and by the time I got home the next day, they were completely dry. Well, actually, when I woke up that morning, I was able to peel them off. And then, um, of course, when I got home, you know, and I actually got to pull off a, a play with them and stuff like that, it was really fine. So you just want to let it dry, and then you be able to come back the next day and then just peel them off and just grab it gently at your corners and then um, just like how you separate them you're just going to want to gently roll them and peel them off and then you you'll be able to feel the difference between this and then the napkin and um, you'll see the wrinkles and stuff like that and i think it's just really really pretty and it's more translucent to me um it's just really pretty but like this is I can tell you. Okay, so that's the back side. This is the side that's glued down to the um, to this uh, plastic, so it leaves it's a little bit shiny, and then the other side is matte. But I don't see a difference in like why you couldn't use you know what side you need to use. I think that's just all preference. What I think is cool is how translucent it gets. Yeah, it really does. It gets translucent. So okay, let me move this so that Mark way it can dry. So cool. I think so. I think so. Let me see if I can gently move it. Now, this isn't a new technique. It's new to Missy. It's though. just new to me. It's just new to me, guys. And she thought it was really cool, so she wanted to try it out. Yeah. Let me get this and out She's going to set way. that one to the side. In the meantime, I'm going to get some more coffee candy. No. You bought, how many have you had? Just two. Okay. No. No more. No more. You, no more. No more. Don't Looks like the beeswax closed. Yes. I didn't. Don't open it. I'll put it back. That does look like the beeswax cloths. I feel like you got you opened it. I didn't. I put it back in the bag. Mm. Okay, so I don't have much to work with with y'all tonight, but I do have some. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so I have a block sitter, and then I have this block, and then I have. This Molly said, could you use the iron-on 
Because you iron that on? So I thought about that too. I have not experimented with that yet. But if you iron it on, I think you would iron off some of the wrinkles. And because we soaked the paper in the Mod Podge glue, would it seep through to the wax paper? I have not tried that. Mm -hmm. I haven't. Um, no, you could do put wax paper over top of it and then put parchment paper over top of that. You could. That way you could test that way you could test it out without having to worry about ruining a piece ruining, of parchment paper. Yeah. Um, well, I just don't want to ruin my iron is what I don't want to iron ruin. So what I was thinking about was this. Okay, so I have this little book and I think that this would be really cute on the little book and just wrap it around. How cute would that be? It's just like a little trinket box book. So I thought that that would be cute. And then I have this, and what I thought about for this one was if I put this on the, um, if I put this on the block sitter and just let it, you know, be the background. And then what I was thinking about was taking um, the iron, the iron, the twine, the bendable twine and putting putting it in like a heart like that. Oh yeah. I thought that Everybody would be cute. Hearts. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it would be cute. And then okay, so that's those it's kind of two ideas that I was thinking about. And then this is the like this is the um just the plain white one. What I like about this one is that it is kind of see Molly said that would be pretty. I think so too. She says she was wondering about those Teflon type craft sheets, maybe iron them on in reverse. Oh, I didn't think about that. We have a, actually we have Teflon uh, heat press material. Oh, hey, bud. yes, yes. What? A phone charger? She needs her stuff. Our baby girl needs her phone charger. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> So, okay, so totally I have so this music sheet, and I thought if I was to put that on there and then layer this on top of it, how it kind of just, what do you think? Well, you'd hope it melts down good enough so you can see it. It's, it's good, that, I mean, it's good. I think you should try and experiment with it. That way everybody knows what they're getting themselves into if they start messing with it. It's true. So this is like brand new, like, like I haven't even practiced this much. I haven't even practiced this one at all. But that's what I was saying, like how pretty it is and how see-through it is. That's what I was saying like that. Look, I just like that. Yeah, we have a, I know we got Teflon sheets because that's what, I, I bought them for that heat press thing so I could press that thing on there using, uh, uh, basically using a heat press to make something stick to something. See how you can see through it? That's what I like about it. I don't know. I say give it a try. You'll never know. Okay, what do you want me Karen to do? Karen said that would be cool. And Deborah said that's a great idea. Okay, so say use this yeah. and then put the thing on top yeah. of it. Glue that now. Okay, so should I iron do you should I just iron it all on? And just see how that works out? Well, first I would glue that on for sure first. Yeah. Your piece of paper. Or cardstock. This is actually music sheet. Oh. It's that's actually really thick. Yeah. That's why I thought it was cardstock. It's actually a music sheet. That's crazy. Um do you see my yeah, like Karen said, you always say it too. If you don't like it, you can always just sand it off. You can just sand it off. That is a that's that's the truth. That's the truth. Lydia said, go for it, Missy. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You're right. You're right, guys. You're right. Let's see. Let me. Um, I'm all about experimenting. Now. Are you? Okay. So let me get my iron. How about, let me grab that. I have that right here. You're going to need that extension cord too, that green one. Okay. <laughs> all right. Y'all just hang out with us for a minute and let me get my iron. If I'm going to do the iron thing, though, I need to get Mod Podge on this so that way it can dry. So let me get Mod Podge on this so it can dry, and then I'll get my iron plugged up. <laughs> She's living vicariously through you. Do it, Barb, <laughs> Barb said. 
<laughs> so I was like, I lost my cute fat bird to the sander after overworking it. Oh, poor bird. See, that, you know, like, I have a tendency of wanting it to be wrinkle-free and that kind of stuff. But I feel like if... Kaylee didn't like it because it was wrinkled. Um, all right, so I got Mod Podge on that, and that's dry. So we'll go with that, and I'll just let this dry. I just think it looks neat. I think it It looks like a Force Flex bag, actually. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you said... Maybe they, try it on a different plastic bag. The extension cord? Yeah, you'll need a green one. Bought me a very special indoor high use exchange cord just for my sewing iron. Every time I plug it in, I think of him and his love. That's awesome. You know, to have stuff like that that reminds you of somebody special, that's really good. I, uh... Do you, by any know. chance, know where my scissors are? Your scissors? No. By chance. We're not very organized. We were running late getting home, too. We were. Molly shared a really sweet memory with us. She said her uh, daddy bought her a very special indoor high-use extension cord just for her sewing iron. She said oh. every time she plugs it in, she thinks of him and his love. Sweet. We'll put that on medium. And the last thing I would like to do is go get my scissors, and I know where a pair is in my bedroom. Karen wanted everybody to know that it was her decoupage paper fat bird, not her real fat bird. <laughs> I would assume. That's funny. But yeah, no, I got Missy a, a big old extension cord. The problem is it's down in the shed, so... She has to use this green one that I use outside all the time. I keep a little wooden box. It's, it looks like a little treasure chest. It's about this big, but it's the last thing my mom gave me uh, before she passed. Actually, she wasn't able to give it to me before she passed. She, I got it afterwards, and uh, so I keep it on my... Uh, Uh, dresser on there's a little shelf so I think stuff like that's important these are not my best scissors but <laughs> Molly says she don't let her, she don't let her, let her hubby grab it for his other projects Barb's yeah. right you never have enough extension cords never I think there's four outside and then there's two big ones down in the shed we have them we have, yeah, we have a lot we of extension cords. Lot of the extension heavy duty cords. one I got Missy's out, out in the shed, though. I think I, I hope I sure did cut that right. Yeah. Cut it good enough. Um, cut it bigger. Well, it's Just fine. sand it off. Parchment paper. I think it's under. I got wax paper and tin foil. Okay. Parchment paper, and then I'll be ready. Because I use wax paper. This is for baking cookies. Um, for baking cookies. How do I not know where none of my stuff is? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we were late, running late getting home tonight. Are you sure it's, it's let's all right, late, right? That's, like, That's wax paper. Oh. And this is heavy duty. Whatchamacallum. Check in that cabinet. I'm heading there now. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I saw it with my man eyes, Your guys. Your man eyes. Good job. I found that with my man eyes. Every time I can't find something, she says, it's because you're looking with your man eyes. Gavin literally was in the refrigerator the other day looking for ketchup. And he came to me and he was like, we're out of ketchup. I was like, there ain't no way. So I went up in the refrigerator right there, right there. And you probably told him the same thing you told me. I did. I said, boy, you was looking with your man eyes. I think that this will be good enough. It's just our eyes are attuned to, to, to straight look in, you know? Yeah, something like that. Like a hunter. Let's see if I can. Let me add some heat to this and get it all 
You want a little bit of wax paper underneath just in case? I think we'll be, let's see, if, let's just go this route. Let's see what happens. Because the wax paper might stick to your iron, but it won't stick to the surface because it's wax. Molly said, man eyes, I'm so going to steal that. Yeah. It completely describes how her husband scans shelves, etc., for its searches. That's literally. Yeah, that's what we're made for. We're, we, can, we can scan, right? We can scan, but we can't look deep, like deep into the refrigerator. Okay, so that's the box with the music notes. And then this would be the with this on top of it. So it just has like an old look, right? That's kind of what we're going for, like a layered old Jay's look. 41 minutes late, but he's here, and he liked the video. Thanks, Jay. Thank you, Jay. So what I'm going to do is um, apply... So I'm, I'm gonna make a mess and then I'm gonna make apply some Mod Podge to my paper. Donna said, which it's usually right under your noses. Yes. Those man eyes. Those man eyes. Um, just a thin coat. Oh, when well, my girls couldn't find something, I used to tell them if I come in there and find it, then they would say, Never mind. Never mind. And then I'm just <laughs> going to I tore that just in case you need it. Man, my chair is squeaky today. I need to tighten the bolts on it, I guess. I'm just going to give myself room. And then <laughs> firmly press it into the glue. Oh, you can see that showing up really good, actually. Yeah. And um, this does tear really easy. See, I just tore that. I'm just going to tear this. That doesn't look like that's it, very easy. It does, but it doesn't tear straight, so keep that in mind. Um, that's one of those. Trim it and sand it off, I think. Then again, it's that plastic and material. It might not. Yeah, it does, it's different. But, yeah. you know, wood glue sands off. So, and it's a PVA. I do like that. Let's see here. Apply that. So Molly. normally I wait for the Mod Podge to dry, but this is thicker and with the wrinkles and everything. So what are you thinking? Iron it down? I think I'm just gonna apply this. And well, worst case scenario, it just sticks to the parchment paper. Right. It is the worst case scenario. Lydia said it looks awesome. Karen says it looks good. Okay, so that's Molly what it says, does. So pretty. So it irons out your. It doesn't iron out your wrinkles. What it does is it it smooths them smooths out. Smooths the textures out. Oh my gosh. You're right. So, that is so cool. See, Hold so on. Build Let me the put texture. it on. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to skip that screen, guys. I was skipping here so you guys could maybe see the texture in it. Look at that. But it's smooth. It's, it's smooth. You can see filling. the texture. But yeah, like she said, it's it feels smooth as opposed to up close. I hope so, y'all can see that really good. When you When you feel this paper, you feel the wrinkles in it. Yeah. And you can see them really good, too. But this is really It's almost smooth. like leathery skin. That's what it, yeah. It, like when you when you're a kid and you used to put a super glue on your finger and then pull try to pull it off so it looked like a, a what you call them? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's go back up. I'm just standing okay. off the excess uh, paper. Molly said so that looks so pretty. Your ironing technique has totally opened my eyes to new possibilities. Oh, I love to iron on. Deborah it. said, "I like that textured look of the wrinkles." I really do too. Jay said, "That's awesome." It's just different, and, and Barb so, said, "Pressed wrinkles." That's what it is. It's, it's she's pressed, pressed the wrinkles. wrinkles, and it looks really, really good. I'm really shocked at how that turned out. You've been shocking me at how stuff turns out a lot here lately. Go back overhead so they can see you sanding that It's off. a little bit thicker to sand off, but it's probably just because of so much glue in it. 
And plus I do have the, the actual paper behind it. Like that's music note paper. Um, Barb so, said that is so cool. And I'm just using, what is this? Uh, 220. 220 grit. So it's just fine enough. It might take just a little bit more effort. Jay said gonna have folks ironing the wrinkles under those eyes. Yeah. Hey, they already make one. It's this ice roller thing. We used to keep in the refrigerator. I just, I don't, I really like how that looks. Um, how it just looks like old or something. I like, like it too. Old. It yeah. looks cool. Yeah. You did really good with that one. So, if you did that, and then like this is that old jar that I said, they and I be. thought it would be really cute. And I have a few more of these, but I have to find them. There, I have a whole box of glass jars and instant vintage. Like Karen yeah, said. it is. But I didn't want to. I, we were like Rodney said, we were kind of running late. So um, you want to show that Tussin bottle again? Because there you go. Because you were holding it a little too forward. It's from a the Tussie camera. bottle. Tussie. So I really don't want to paint it. how old that is. It's really cool. So I just wanted to leave it like that and then put like um, some flowers in it. But Molly's right. Molly said sheet music is multi-seasonal. It is. You can't go wrong with sheet music. Karen said that's a cool bottle. Yeah, it really is cool. So like you can even see it through there. But kind of what I was thinking with like this is... Um, Maybe patchwork with it? Is if I just kind of tear it. I was trying to guess. I don't know. <laughs> I figured maybe patchwork. And I was kind of just wanting to make like a little tag. Oh, I got you. Like that. And just tear it. And then I was going to layer it up. So I like the torn look. Oh, so you're getting super creative on us today. Well. Super duper creative. Super duper. Um, Deborah said, I love the flowers and the sheet music layered. Yeah, I just think I it's, can't wait to see what it looks like when it's ironed. Or when it's mod potted together. Oh, I should make it a tag like that. Like that? Oh, yeah. That's that's what I thought. That's what we thought you I were doing. I was kind of thinking like, like the, you're right. You're right. Let's do that. Have you done any antique suitcases that's not steampunked recently? <laughs> no. No. We have one that we're working that um, I have, that I we're going to work on. And but, I have a suitcase that um, is but, in my stash of to do. The trunk is, I was going to do, I was going to steampunky it up. Yeah. But I don't know. I think we'll see. we have two different views. Yeah, we, two ideas on that. Two visions. Yeah, two visions for one thing. Yeah. So I'm kind of just, I'm, I'm actually going completely backwards with the iron-on technique on this. Usually, how I not don't I say don't do that, but you're just being quick about it. Though. I am being quick because I kind of was kind of was prepared for tonight and kind of not. Well, things change too, and we yeah we tend to ch especially you you tend to change things on the fly. I do. So I just tore it. Let me tear this right here. It's actually easier to tear now that I've modified. Molly said thanks. Food. I'm trying to get my daughter to take three antique suitcases off my hands for her to upcycle and sell. Oh yeah, yeah. Steampunk doesn't do too well in our area. We don't have a lot of no. I think my suitcase is still sitting in the store. Um, I have a big piece of decoupage paper um, that just says life on it. Um, and I don't really know what I would do with it, but I feel like it would look really good on um, that that trunk. But here's my here's my thing with that trunk is um, the trunk has a packing list on it from I can't remember the date, but 
it has a, a pack and list on it from whoever the Trump belonged to. He packed up, he labeled how many socks, pants, oh, yeah, I saw um, that. underwear. He labeled um, his books. He labeled everything, and it's this whole sheet, um, and it's kind of still attached. It's kind of tore up or whatever, but um, it was really cool, and I hate to take that off, but I'm thinking, you know, people probably don't want that. <laughs> I know there's a better way to do this, but I'm working with the tools that I have. <laughs> right we, we do have me. a punch. I do have That's a punch. right over there on that shelf. But I'm trying not to get back up to go get something. Trying to avoid the getting All right, something. I'll get up. <laughs> I'll get up. And grab you see it? it? <laughs> yeah. I would go with them, the yeah, the next to smallest. The next to smallest. We can't see you. Why? You don't know you're not uh, in front of the camera. Sorry. Like why can't you see me? I might there have to go. go bigger. Cause I am putting that wire through it. Oh yeah, and it's a bigger piece than that. I thought it was smaller. The bigger ones are the ones I use to punch holes in them bags. I'm sure everybody's already got one of these, but these are amazing. Mammy gave us that. We are. Karen said, I love that punch. Yeah, it's really Me cool. too. It has come in quite handy. I use it to punch holes into the bags so I can push them onto peg, uh, the little hooks that goes on to... Uh, Slat wall hooks, y'all, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, a punch hole so it'll slide under there. I like using the wire because you can lay it flat. You can kind of bend it to the bottom. Barb said that punch is on her wish list. Look how cute! The little tag. We'll point it towards the main camera so they can see it really good. And then I have these other jars that I could easily, you know, that one will fit. Now watch. There we go. I'm going to get up one it. more time. <laughs> that tag does look cute with that music notes behind it. It has the music notes behind it. Let me steal some fake greenery. That looks really neat. Yeah. Oh, she's stealing some greenery. I'm stealing some of this fake greenery. Because I feel like that'll complete the project. Man, that candy is so good. It is. I want another piece. No. Look. It's not my best greenery, but... What does it look like? It looks really good. Uh, there's some cheap greenery. Yeah, it's not my best you, greenery. You can tell it's cheap. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. But it, or it come in it's something that I had for free or whatever, and I just didn't toss it. But you get you get what I'm trying to do here. Yeah. I think that's cute. And I really like the layered, um, I'm looking at it from that view. I really like how that looks right there. And if you want it to look even older. I don't think my message is showing up right. There we go. This is um, Best Dang Brown Wax. I'm just barely gonna touch the tip of my brush. Donna says she likes anything with music notes on it. She has two daughters who are music teachers. Really? You're off camera again, it looks like. I'm just barely, I barely touched the tip of my brush to it. And that kinda. <laughs> Molly said, even cheap greenery can be manipulated to look good. It can. You um, use some of that moss on it would make it look more realistic. If you had, um, if you have those little ink pad things, you could easily go around the edges of this. If I would have grabbed it, that's what I would have done. Karen said, you could use some some of those stamps to stamp onto the tag. Mm -hmm. Yes. You yes. actually brought home a thing of my my stamps today. Yeah, I found a whole thing that I had in there that was at the store. Because Kaylee loves doing, she's she, Kaylee stamps our bags. 
our, our brown paper bags. So I would say this is project number one with the... Yeah, that turned out really good. That really does look like rice paper when you ironed it on. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at it. That's crazy. And this is a little bit of brown wax on it just to kind of grab on to the... Um, to grab on to the, like, the wrinkles in it. Um, yeah, my chat's the, not updating. So this is just a little book that I have, and what I did was I put... Um, Karen, so that turned out great. I think so, too. I put a... Let's see. My flowers are going this way. There we go. I had to refresh. I put a coat of drop cloth on it. So what I think I'm going to do is just wrap this little book up in this. And just do it the old school. Apply your Mod Podge and you know glue it down method. That's what I think I'm going to do to this. So I'm just going to cut, and save. Always save. Always yeah. save them scrap pieces. And what we'll do is we'll take some Mod Podge. Get it going on there and cover this book. Working in a floor shop, the designer would spray paint the artificial greens and berries and grapes to suit her design. Mind blown, it was so cool. I bet that I bet that was. I bet that really was. That's just something that was stuck in the something I can't remember, and I just stuck it in a little um, I have a, a planner over there that is doesn't have any, um, it's just all fake. I do have real plants over there, but I do have a few that are just fake um, in my planner that I just change out seasonally or whatever. So I'm just going to, am I on really good? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I stuck my hands on that Mod Podge. So I'm just going to. Bring it to, down some towards you. The camera's like right right there. Okay, I'm just going to get my neck in on there and press it down and just roll over the book. And I think I could easily iron this, but I think I'm going to leave it because I really like the texture of this paper almost like it's leather bound. Yeah, that's what it feels like, like mm -hmm. rough leather. And just glue it down. And I think what I'll do is I'll take my fan paper that I have and just go ahead and see if I can get my excess off. And then we'll apply some Mod Podge to the top to make sure that it's all glued down. This piece would be really cute to like um, paint some pretty color right there to finish it off. Molly said, do you have any worries of the decoupage medium getting sticky during humid weather? You know... I don't think we've had a problem with it. I mean, I have it here, but it's not humid enough yet. I think I think it would be something to consider when you're storing it. If you're if you're making seasonal items and you store it. Because like the I guess the heat could make the glue like reactivate, but I I don't think it would be any different than anything else for like when you use Mod Podge to uh, put rice paper down or anything like that. I don't think it would be like I've never had a problem with my Mod Podge items sticking together right. throughout anything, even though maybe I haven't done this quite done this technique. Yeah, but, but I've still stuff. put Mod Podge underneath and Mod Podge on top. Right. So um, I would, you know, probably depends on where you live at and where you store your stuff at. Like all my stuff would be. 
I do not put my stuff, my paint, my Mod Podge or anything. All of that is stored inside my house. I do not store it outside where it can risk getting um, too hot or frozen. So. Yeah, frozen can ruin your stuff. Frozen can ruin your stuff. Um, I, I will keep all of my paints and stuff inside just even if I'm not using them. I still keep them inside just so that it can... Um, Are you needing something? Yeah, I was looking to see where your purse was. On the door back okay. there. Okay. Um, so, I would say just just keep that in mind. There might be. This is really um, small. I just got an ad, too. So, yeah, i got to figure out how to control that better. Is it bad? No, nah, it was like... I was able to skip it, but yeah, still, yeah, you would lose, like you wouldn't hear something that somebody else was saying, and you'd have to go back and oh. review. This okay, be that was lame. easier. I don't know why I didn't do that the first time. <laughs> just use my exacto knife to cut off the excess instead of. It's just only because it's so small. Usually, it's not an issue, but this is just small. So the exacto knife cut it up really easily. But I like that, so I'm just going to take the Mod Podge and do it the old school way where I add a layer of glue to the top and around to my edges to make sure that I have everything glued down. Now my live chat is not working. I can't stand when stuff like that happens. There we go. Back. Okay, so yeah, I like this. I like how the wrinkles are on this one. Where that smoothed everything out, I like how this one has all the wrinkles. Sharon says she loves that little book. Are you going to sell it? I probably <laughs> probably will end up taking it to the store. I don't know. Karen said that's so cute. I think it's really cute. I think it would be a little really cute little trinket box. And Molly said that was good to know. Maybe that is just something from the Mod Podge's past. They may have really improved their product since then. Yeah, they may have because I haven't had any issues with it at all. But we only use MAP. Yeah, I only use, that's the only one I use is the um, Mod Podge MAP. Yeah. So, so now I just let this dry, but honestly, I think that it's fine. Um, I'm going to set this over here so I don't get messed up. I did... Um, Barb okay. says she's had two ads and it's been at almost every 30 minutes. Karen says she's had six ads, but she could skip them though. Six ads? Yeah, that, that would be quite annoying actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll have it fixed by next live. What I'll do is I'll do some uh, private live tests and get this sorted out because I, I can't be having that. Okay, so this is just a block sitter that has a coat of white paint on it. So, originally, if I was going to put the florals behind it and then make a heart and put Hold it on, on there. Hold on just a second. Molly wants to brag. Go she ahead. took 10th in the U.S. in 1979 FFA floral design competition. Whoop, whoop. Wow. <laughs> I really like how that looks, though. I know what to do. I know what to do on this one. That's really awesome. Now, it's probably on our end because we just got a notification today. Yeah, well, no, it was yesterday. And so it turned on all this stuff. And so once I get everything figured out, it's, it's going to be a problem on our end, Karen. I'm sure. Oh, look. What is it? It's just pictures from the Broadway uh, musical Milk and Honey. I still get jealous. I don't know these songs. I hope nobody gets mad at me for using this kind of stuff. <laughs> Donna said, what did the piece say to her? What did the piece say to you? You know, the pieces are always... What did the piece say to yeah. me? 
<laughs> I got you. I got you. Okay, this is what I was thinking. This is what it just told me, right? So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get another music note. I was like, who what did what say to me? I'm gonna tear this out, right? And then we're going to put this on first. I think we're gonna we're going to use every single thing that I have. Yeah, it's probably some setting that I missed. Okay. Honestly. So I'm going to cut this where my line is. I wish I would have known how it worked beforehand. Right. She said, I know, I know. <laughs> And we're gonna put this on here. That's so cool. Molly winning that award. That's, that is that's really, really cool. Awesome. Yeah, really, really cool. Trying to make sure I get it. I mean, tenth in the country. That's yeah, a, that's a big. That's a big deal. deal. That's a that's real a big, big deal. deal. All right. I'm gonna put this on here. I'll have to sand off my edges where I didn't get it quite. Right, and we're just gonna take our iron. We're just gonna make sure that it's all nice and down. Right. And make sure that you're using the same side mock uh, parchment paper every time you do that so you don't get any of that glue on your iron. Then what we're going to do is Do you read the the uh, words on that music to make sure there's nothing nasty missing? Um, I promise to behave. I'll pack my gear. The song. This song is Hey Love. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the other one that I used. From the Broadway musical Hot Spot. This one is, I, um, give it a little whistle. Give it a little whistle. So I don't know. Um, I didn't read it, but <laughs> that probably would be smart. That would be, that would, th thanks for pointing that yeah. out, Donna. It would be helpful if we would read the music first before we start just throwing it on there. So usually on music sheets, um, for me, um, when I run across books like that that are damaged and um, not really in good condition to sell or anything like that, um, but it still has some good music sheets in it, what I do is I tear them out individually. Um, and use them. And I roll them up and then I tie a piece of ribbon or really pretty twine around them. And then I, um, I just stick them in um, bases, jars, stuff like that, just little fillers. And then I just sell them in my booth. Um, if that, you know, if they want them, they can, um, they can purchase them. So that's what I do with those. And then some of them, I just always have a stack of them because in picture frames, I do not like to put picture frames in my booths that have. Um, just a cardboard background or just a generic background. I like it when it has something pretty because I just feel like it It makes the scene, um, you know, that the setting that I've got it in and everything more homey. You can more envision it in, in your home. So I like to use like music notes for that. And then um, I also like to use old vintage magazines and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, you do have to be careful when you use um, vintage magazines because their ads are a lot different than our ads in our magazines now. Yes, so you do have to be really cautious <laughs> with the old vintage magazines. Some of them are hilarious, ads. but not everybody is going to think that, that they are hilarious. So um, you do have to be cautious of that. Karen said, I think I need a mini press. I have the OG Cricut press. Missy's loving is that, her mini Is that press. what this is? Yeah, that's is the, the mini, mini press. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love it. I'm very lucky. Gosh, I just can't get over it how it feels when you... 
iron it on. It's hard to believe that it's smooth feeling. Yeah. As many wrinkles as you can see in it. Yeah. Okay, so I said I was going for all three, right? All yeah, three. Yeah, that's what you said, all three. Okay, so what I would like to do... Molly says she has vintage antique hymnals and feel kind of bad about using them, but think it is better to get those lyrics out to a modern audience than them going to a landfill. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um... I'm going to grab this pencil real quick. Kathy asks, please remind me what kind of mini iron that is. That is a Cricut mini press. Cricut mini press. And Missy uses it. Well, y'all know. Yeah, I use it all the time. She uses it all the time here. I guarantee you she uses it twice as often, if not 10 times more, with, off of the off YouTube because she uses it for everything. Um, Molly said it's gorgeous. My bad. She says so ad gorgeous. Uh, let's see. What was it? We were coining a new phrase the other day. What um, was it? It was something with the dogs. A gorgeous. A door. A dog. A yeah, gorgeous. adorable and jo gorgeous mixed together. A gorgeous. Yeah. I think my was gonna make a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so sweet. It's a heart. Look, that's cute. And then I could even take um, twine, regular twine, and outline it and just hot glue it on there. Yeah, that'd be so cute. Wouldn't that be cute? Yep. Did you find your uh, hot glue gun? I do have it, and I do have the battery for it. There we go. Wow, we we got everything that we need. That's amazing. Finally. So what I'm going to do is kind of just apply this Mod Podge to the back of the heart instead of to this. So that way I don't get my whole piece um, Mod Podged up, trying to make sure I only get it where I need it to go. And because it's done the way it is, it's actually, you know, doable as far as like, Molly said, that's so pretty and simple as is, but very suitable for fancying up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. You could grow with this. Definitely. Definitely. So you're going to iron the heart on, too? Or are you going to leave it wrinkled? Put it on there. Um, leave it wrinkled. Just going to lightly go over it. I I did just put that Mod Podge on there. But you can still kind of see. Yeah, I knew I should I should have just. On that one, Um, if you do it, uh, I would, because it's so many layers of Mod Podge. Let the Mod Podge dry. On this one, I would have let the Mod, you should probably let the Mod Podge just dry naturally. Karen said, Missy, you need to do online classes and sell kits for it. <gasps> we, did we do block sitters as kits last year? Um, online classes? I can't remember. I know we did Christmas but ones. But I would say that I probably have gotten I've gotten better since the first couple of classes that I've done. Um, just only because um, it's practice not, makes it, perfect. Practice makes yeah. perfect. And, and then you had uh, um, I'm not as nervous about doing that kind of stuff anymore. Yeah, she know? used to get super nervous. Super nervous. So I have gotten better. Um, Donna said yes I did the block sitter class so yeah we did the yeah. block sitters last year we did block sitters Christmas ornaments and then the cutting board thing and then we did the cutting board class both at uh, what was it Christmas crafting craft or was it craft, craft Acropolis and it was in October right yeah and that was in person Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I don't want to do it on this slide because I really want my glue to settle up, but this just needs to be hit with the um, the uh, sandpaper just to make sure that it all my edges are mess, you know, flush or whatever. So yeah, that's what we did last time, Karen. It's uh, we'll have to sort the logistics out of it because we don't want to do the same things over, but we also 
want to make sure that we have it down pat it. before yeah. we do something like that. Cutting towards yourself, you're scaring Jay. I didn't, even notice, I didn't even notice it. I did cut toward myself. That's the only way I know how to cut. <laughs> it's the only way she knows how to cut, she said. The only way. Uh, I Jay thought I, like this. I, thought I had some regular twine. Oh, but I might not. It's my green handled case. Donna said it's really cute. She said she loved the, doing the ornaments, too. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the ornaments. Okay, that's... I don't know how you forgot the ornaments. I just said we did the ornaments. I, well, I was listening. I was they listening to you. They were wood chunks. You know, we bought 800... Uh, Little wood slices? No, not the wood slices. The little things that you... Strips of burlap. The little burlap strings because it was cheaper to buy that than it was to buy the roll and then cut it off but then we did the in-person class we didn't have enough of the burlap yeah and so we had to borrow a roll from somebody else that was there oh, yeah that, that was, was embarrassing funny. and it, the funny thing was is that it was my fault i left it in the back of the store but yeah i cut golly how many branches did i cut of that pine yeah on the bandsaw for those ornaments. I think it was that a lot. the twine, and finding, finding branches that were big enough for that was crazy. I think that the twine would look really good on it. Jay said, my knife cuts three ways. I'm really bad. I always cut towards myself, and I know I shouldn't. Lorna said, that's so pretty. Thank you. Let me see. Because um, this is the last project that I have, honest, ooh, honestly. So well, these were actually two massive projects, though. I mean, when were. you think about it, because when you started off by showing how to do how you did the rice, how paper. I did the rice paper, or so the, the faux um, rice paper, the faux rice paper, you just want some kind of glue. I use Mod Podge, but you could easily use Elmer's glue, so it's cheaper. Um, and then mix it up. I use coffee, but I've also used tea. Um, you could also use paint. You would just probably need to add a little bit of water because you're wanting it to be thin. The smoother your plastic surface is, the smoother your paper will be. So like I said, mine was the Flex Force, so it did have that texture. But honestly, it doesn't have that much texture in the papers. As, like the, oh, There was only that w one section that you could kind of see the Flex Force right. wrinkles on it. Um, and that's probably where I just smashed it down too hard. But um, peel your napkins apart. If it's a two-ply, three-ply, whatever, you just want to make sure you're peeling them apart so they're the thinnest. And um, your glue mixture, if you can do it just plain white if you don't want it to look aged. Or you can um, use the tea or the coffee or paint or, you know, whatever can color. Donna said the wood for the ornaments was beautiful. Thank you, Donna. Yeah. It was just some pine branches. I'll tell you the trick to doing those was... Just cutting them out on a bandsaw and then sticking them in a toaster oven on a low temperature to dry them out. Mm -hmm. So we cut so them all crack. and then we stick them in the toaster oven, dry them out slowly so they don't crack. Another trick you could do is put them in a thing of sawdust or the shavings with it and then put it in a box and keep the box covered up. But that takes, that takes longer. I'd have had to dry those out for like six months. But doing it in the toaster oven really worked out really good. I think I set the temperature on like 150 degrees. Mm. It was it was low. I obviously got to keep watch of it. And you can get it dried out in about six hours. Molly said, thank you for sharing this project. I want to create and help my dear daughter and her little family. If yeah. she could sell some of the crafts to help pay for the Christian schooling of her kids, it's worth it. Absolutely. Um, yeah, because you can find napkins. Napkins are really, you know, they can be, per they can get expensive, don't get me wrong. Yeah. You can find, you know, napkins like that is cheap. And then, um. Like some of the stinking napkins we got the, uh, that she's going to show, I guess, sometime this week. Those things were like 50 cents each. And I was like, holy cow. Yeah. For a napkin. Some of them can get expensive. It probably just depends on, um the design, the maker, that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously, um, some <laughs> the cheaper napkins have a, a lower quality images on them, but... 
Bar- so far, I haven't been disappointed. Barb said we made the wreaths out for our daughter's wedding reception. Oh, let me say this like somebody who can speak English. Okay, go ahead. We made the wreaths for our daughter's wedding reception tables, and we scavenged natural materials from anywhere. My hu- my hubby feared getting a call because I trespassed in the strangest places. Not easy. Wow. When I was a kid, my dad would go dig up dogwood trees and then bring them back to the house out in the woods. I would love a dogwood tree. Hubby's carving primitive bowls between carvings. He keeps projects in a Ziploc bag to keep them from cracking. Mm. I couldn't figure out what what leftovers there were. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I use uh, paper bags. If I'm doing stuff on a lathe, what I do is I take my... Because your lathe chips, even though you're... You, if you work with green wood like I do a lot of times... The shavings come off. They'll be dry by the time you start sweeping them up. So I just throw them in a paper bag and I throw my bowl down and then it keeps my bowl from warping and it keeps it from cracking. But sometimes you can't avoid all warpage. Like if you do some, uh, I don't like turning sweet gum wood on my lathe, but I did a bunch of stuff out of sweet gum because I just had boards and boards of it somebody gave me. And, uh, all of it warped, regardless of what I did. Even drying it by painting the end of it with anchor seal, still warped after I turned it. And it was totally dry. The moisture meter read 10%. And that's, that's dry, dry. Molly said, hopefully we can purchase some of those napkins from you. I prefer to spend money on good businesses. Well, thank you, Molly. Thank you. I think um, I think I'll be able to for sure share these napkins too. I haven't gotten to go through all of them quite yet, um, but I am excited about them. I and think. the first order wasn't even bulk; it's just a regular order. Yeah. If I buy them in bulk, we can get them cheaper. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to see because, I, like I said, I do love my decoupage paper. <laughs> But I do love stuff like this too. Like um, Karen said, he does that too. Yes, that's see, that's smart. That's smart doing that that way. The layering up of the napkins was what I was curious about. Don't ask. Now I know. Thanks for all your great ideas and your help. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, we just got a new subscriber. Oh. It was dancing around on the screen. It took me a second to see it. I probably could have done that better, but Mia. Uh, Her name is Mia. Hi. Okay. Will y'all be open Friday? Jay said. I'm trying to find time to get down there. Yeah, we'll be. Well, we are open. We Friday, are open. But I we won't be won't there Friday. Be there Friday. Um. We'll do the live show Friday morning, and but I'll make sure I get those. I'll give Emily those pins. So you can get one of them, okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't forget about it. They're sitting right. They're sit, actually sitting right over there on the counter. Let's see where I'm at. I, I keep on going too far, guys. Sorry about that. I'm trying to remember where my Lorna, camera's at. She hasn't even finished the bookcase yet, Lorna. It's a. Uh, I haven't. There's finished some it kind yet. of uh, so, something I did when I was cleaning up afterwards, and the top shelf paint wasn't all the way dry. It got some like dirt or dust it just on it. Needs to be lightly sanded so she, again. Yeah. And then. Um, just to smooth off whatever's on there. And then I should be able to go through and um, finish the painting of it. And then... Um, yeah, so it was my fault. I'm, it, I'm a doofus sometimes. And I let dirt and dust get on top of it before it was cured and dry. So I, That's so cute. I think it... I mean, if you had like little wooden cutouts or something like that, a little butterfly or something like that, I definitely think you could keep going with it. Maybe a miniature... Uh, Fussy bow, or what, yeah. what do you call them? Oh, yeah. Little messy bow? Messy bow. Just something. I think you, I like it like it is, but I also think that you could. Um, oh, you could have a stamp and stamp in the middle of it. I like Karen's idea about stamping. Yeah, I think you could go even further Metal with keys. It. Yeah. Karen that said. Cute. That would be cute. Tina said, love all the makes tonight. Thank oh, you. I meant to sh- I, I, So, I, you want to take me on this camera? And yeah, I was going to show Tina's paper, up. but I put it in our room, so that's my fault, because I wanted everybody to see what she made. I will do that Friday, though. Sometimes simple is best, Lorna Sometimes. said. Sometimes. And then I put my book to dry somewhere. Is it dry enough for me to touch? Yeah. That is too cute. Too cute. 
I like the little book, honestly. The little book is Not gonna cute. kid. The little book is cool. I'm gonna keep it sitting up because it is still a little bit tacky. My glue is where I dried it. I like how it has the texture. I like the feel of it. It it has just like um it just doesn't I'm gonna show like... this one up close since you just finished it. There we go. It took a second for that. But you can see the, the texture on the the top part is different than the texture underneath it. That's really cool. And you can see through it just fine. I think it's you did a great job. That, th that thing looks awesome. Donna said, wow. They're cute. I like them. I like the tag idea, too. Yeah, the little tag. And then gluing it and then to, put the it to the paper. I forgot whose idea that was. Let me go back and look. Um, it's cute. You could even ink up the sides of it so that way it's aged if you wanted to, too. I like that. So, napkins, glue. Um, I used coffee Deborah. tonight. Deborah Spinelli. She said, I love the flowers and sheet music layered. Layered, yeah. That was really, it's a really good idea. Um, put them on a plastic surface. You know what would be really good is if you had an old shower curtain. Yes, that would be perfect because it's, it's vinyl a, yeah. and totally waterproof. And then you could just peel it off of that. That would be a smart if you had one of those. Um, but um, just some kind of plastic to um, put it on, let it dry, and then carefully peel it off, and then you are good to go. Karen said, all those projects are awesome. Molly said, these look so cute. Thank you. Uh, Dawn said... Dawn Hill said, they are super cute. What a great idea. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. And Molly yeah. Smith said, so smart. Oh, y'all are sweet. Y'all are so sweet. So sweet. Too sweet. Too Missy's sweet. gonna get a big head again. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it for tonight? Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, Decapage the Month Club. We're, those papers, we'll have a separate video tomorrow for those papers. So uh, that they were supposed to be ready today, but Missy wanted me to add a few more images to each sheet to, to really even them out. Promise that video either today or, or Thursday. Wednesday or, th it'll Wednesday be, okay. or Thursday. So, so it'll yeah. either be Wednesday or Thursday. So if you are a Decapage the Month subscriber, I'll have the video either tomorrow or Thursday. Yes. Okay. But I'll make sure it sends a notification when it happens. And I'll also send out an email uh blast so if you signed up yeah. for our email newsletters you'll get one and it'll say hey this is the deck deposit and it'll show each sheet but the, I, I thought i was done but we wanted to add some more images to it so yeah we'll get it we'll get it there yep kathy said i love these dawn said and thank you may may for telling me about you both oh yeah thanks may -may. Yep. May -may. I'll be glad when she Y'all have back. a lovely evening, Molly said. Yes, y'all too. Y'all have a great night. Um, we'll be back Friday at 11. Um, and I don't know what we're doing, but I'm sure we'll be doing something fun. So. And I, know, I know there's some crazy weather around, so y'all say weather aware. Yeah, okay, guys? Yeah. We'll see you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. And we'll see you guys Friday. Yep. Yep. Bye, y'all. Bye.